Yeah, guess who did this? Of course, clean break so to possibly weld the brace it again. But the problem was that this was stuck, was rusted. And this is the new bearing. It's a sealed for life type, which will go together with that one, or rather with the, with the other, which is okay. So I will now insert the bearings, new bearings for the the thrust side here and they will go in like with the uh, this way in here and here so they will be thrust against this washer here squeezed like that with the main side there and this should be up towards the oiling point there so i already inserted that somewhat in and i'll insert the bearing this one in there with the opening up so it will get oil I will gently put that as far as it goes. Like that. And then I turned two rings here, which I will use like this. And then I will use a Du 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 clamp to clamp clamp it in like that. So um, to the topic of adjusting the spindle bearings on the Myford Super 7. Um, the two bearings are snugged up here together with a spacer in between so <clears throat> that they are um, they are meant to be tightened with the screw here and the screw here and there's a distance spacer distance piece a spacer here so that when you insert the bearing this provides the correct amount of, of play here or the distance here with the, these two fixed locates the, the tapered bearing correctly so to preset it I thought I could measure up with the spindle just uh, temporarily aligned here or inserted I mean so I push push against the, the rear face here of the rear bearing and then I just snug this up like that the bearings at the rear are changed replaced the ones and I have adjusted the, the headstock uh, feel a little bit daft. Uh, I mean, this is must be old uh, old knowledge for all you Englishmen out there who have done this a hundred times before, thousands or ten thousand times before. But anyway, it's the first time for me. Um, haven't seen any footage of this also, so I'm not sure if there exists actually um, partial or a full description how to do this but it's per manual and uh, also uh, according to some description I found in a, in a forum so what I've done is that I've followed the description in the manual and uh, loosened everything and when I replaced the two bearings here I have then inserted everything together assembled it together and 
let the front bearing be loose here because this is uh, actually uh, two nuts here so you can slide this to the front and then this the front bearing can be loose and then I've tightened the the knot here that fixates the inner um, uh, races and preloads them and then when this has been done I've then tightened up the the these two locating uh, uh, knots here and move the spindle backwards until the front bearing is stuck meaning that can't rotate it and then I'll loosen it about 15 degrees or so so that it runs and that should be the correct setting <laughs>